I think we want to keep going forward with things that have worked. We don't want to go back to the things that got us in trouble before. And I don't think we should be doubling down on a strategy that actually hasn't worked for the last four years. Governor Walker and his challenger, Mary Burke, met for their first debate Friday night in Eau Claire. The debate was pretty much drama free, and both candidates stuck with their main campaign themes. Walker emphasized the progress he's made toward closing a big budget deficit and bringing down the unemployment rate. Burke said the state's economy isn't growing at the pace it needs to, and Wisconsin will do better under her. One of the sharpest exchanges came over Walker's rejection of the federal Medicaid expansion money. We know that when we turn down this money, people still get sick. It's just that we're not getting any money to pay for it. In the business world, CEOs would be fired for this type of fiscal irresponsibility that Governor Walker has shown. I would definitely accept the federal Medicaid funding. It only makes common sense. The majority of governors in the United States took it, including eight Republican governors. They were right, and Governor Walker was wrong. From our standpoint, we're protecting the taxpayers of the state of Wisconsin. Jim Doyle made a bad bet years ago when he raised eligibility but didn't put enough money in and created a waiting list, a waiting list for people living in poverty. We've eliminated that waiting list by covering everyone living in poverty. We moved ourselves forward, but we didn't put ourselves at that same risk for the same sorts of reasons that we created the, the problem years ago under Jim Doyle are the same things now. Our opponent is asking us to expect, to trust the federal government that can't make their Medicaid payments even now to fulfill those in the future. That's just not a realistic bet. So how did they do? WISN 12 political reporter Kent Wainscott was there in Eau Claire on Friday night, and he joins us now on Up Front. Kent, welcome back. Uh, the spinning, uh, I guess, probably still continues, but what was it like in the spin room after the debate? What were they saying to you? Uh, well, the formal spin, uh, it was the the same as it usually is in any debate. Uh, our candidate did great. The opponent uh, missed the point on a lot of things. Their plan won't work, that sort of thing. Um, the, the buzz in the room from the supporters of each of the candidates afterward uh, revolved around a couple of things. For the Burke camp, it was that Scott Walker didn't directly answer several of the questions that were asked of him. They were saying he, he dodged the questions. And, and from the Walker supporters, there was a lot of talk about one moment late in the debate when Mary Burke hesitated, paused for a period of time before responding to a question. Uh, uh, regarding what was something Scott Walker has done that she likes or say something nice about the governor. Anything said in the debate, Kent, that has the potential to live on, either in the form of a campaign ad or a, a new theme in this campaign? You know, it's hard to say, but yeah. there was a moment that, uh, that Burke supporters were certainly talking about on the jobs uh, issue when the governor uh, made a remark that uh, we don't have a jobs problem, we have a work problem in this state. Uh, I, I don't know if, uh, if anyone will seize on that, but they were certainly talking about uh, that after that, And that's tricky because there was some context to what he was saying in right. terms of there's a website that shows there are X number of jobs available and we're not connecting people. But yeah. that's not what it sounded like in the... But, but the opportunity to take a right. sound bite, um, you know, that was the one that they were talking about afterwards. Um, let's talk about the next debate, which will be on Friday night. Right. You'll be a part of that. You'll be on the panel. Uh, these things, you know, for an hour, you can only ask so many questions, right. and so there is some uncovered ground that, that, that could be fresh on Friday night, is there not? Yeah, I think there's probably a lot of uncovered ground. I mean, certainly we'll hear more of the same uh, in terms of questions regarding jobs and, and some of the things that will have to come up and, and maybe weren't uh, addressed completely during this first debate. But education funding and uh, in the... Uh, Elementary education system in this state certainly is something that wasn't addressed. Uh, Mary Burke did talk about funding uh, for college, making college more affordable, talked about higher education, but um, didn't touch much, certainly, on cuts to education in the state, and, and the governor didn't address his plan for education moving forward. I'm still rooting for a transportation uh, question, too, because I think big issues down the road in right. terms of what does our transportation infrastructure Funding, look like and how do we pay for from? it. Absolutely. Yeah. So there's a lot to talk about. Absolutely. And you'll be asking your share of the questions? We will. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Can't wait, Scott. Sure. Political reporter for WISN 12. Thanks very much. Next, we want to know what you think. Did you watch the debate, and do you think there was a winner? Tell us by liking and sharing up front on Facebook. And in just a moment, the other competition on TV today.